Hello, hello. It is Monday, and we are getting ready to do Raw Truth Weekly. Thank you guys for joining me. Please pick your numbers one through three. If you don't want to pick a number, just listen to the readings and see which ones resonate with you. I hope you guys are all having a great day, and I wish you all a great week. All right, so this is for group number one. So for group number one, the reading is saying that you feel trapped or tied up like you can't move one way or the other. There's something going on with you right now that's no longer satisfying for you. Something that you put some time, energy, effort, or emotion into, and it's not working out, and you don't know which way to go. And the obstacle or challenge that you're facing is that there is some distrust, or there's a situation where you feel like you have to look over your shoulder, like someone is trying to get away with something. And the outcome of the reading says that you really need to focus on your money. It speaks about you learning new things in order to make money. Now, this card that says there's also a matter of distrust could also mean that you need to maybe even travel or do something different. Feeling trapped or tied up doesn't always have to be emotion. It could be financial, okay, because this last card says here you are needing to learn new things in order to make money, okay? So... You know, I would say if you're not happy with your job or if you're not happy with a relationship as well, because it's speaking about that, you might need to start making some changes, you know, in your life, you know, and it is speaking about a relationship for you. The obstacle or challenge is love. OK, so it's not only just work or money, it's a love situation. And I'm seeing that you're hoping to sign contracts or cement deals or, you know, make this relationship a commitment or something more serious or where are we going? You know, what is this all about? But I don't really see this person being ready to make that commitment or answer those questions fully for you. So I would say really group number one, focus on, you know, learning what you need to learn in order to make money and establish yourself. Okay. All right. So here is group number two. group number two, the reading is speaking about you trying to position yourself in a work situation. It's talking about you having your footing, but everyone else is like watching you to see what you're doing. And the obstacle or challenge that you may be facing is juggling money right now. Money could be up and down for you, trying to find balance with that. But if you balance your money, if you're diligent with the money that you have, I'm seeing more money coming to you as a result of learning how to either invest or make money, make money for you, okay? Or new opportunity coming to you with money, all right? Also, group number two is speaking about things being shaken up for you, turned upside down. It's causing you to think differently about what you're doing, why you're doing it, and who you're doing it with. And I'm seeing you being up against other people, but walking away victorious, okay? So if things are being shaken up in your life right now with the people around you, maybe people you've known for a long time, you're like, oh, wow, I didn't think this would turn out this way, you may need to make some adjustments. And yes, Yes, this could involve a love situation, emotions, not necessarily romantic love. It could be a love of friendship, love of family, where things are coming out, you know, in the open. It could also be a, a romantic situation as well, okay? So they're saying, you know, in your work sector, money is going to be coming to you. In your emotional sector, you're going to have to face things that you didn't think, you know, would happen with people that you've known for some time, I guess, right, is what I'm hearing. Okay, so this is for group number three. Okay, group number three. It's talking about a young person around you who holds pleasure for you, or you could be this person holding pleasure for someone else. But the obstacle or challenge is issues in the home or being concerned with the house, land, or real estate or establishing yourself, okay? Or an older gentleman who could be an obstacle or a challenge, yes. And it's talking about a partnership, a relationship, or a mutual agreement, you know, that you are in. Now, this could be a person, this could be an older man or an older male energy where there is a younger female energy that has, a, you know, a connection with them. And I don't know if you're trying to help them with the home or bring them into your home or thinking about living together or something of the sort. 
And when I say older and younger, it doesn't always mean chronological age because the spirit only reads the nature of the person, the soul of the person. So you could be 20 with a 30 year old energy. Okay. So you're going to come up older. So when I say older, I'm always speaking in terms of energy. So on the second part of that, I'm seeing this love affair. Okay. I'm seeing this situation and, um, you know, the obstacle or challenge again could be making that commitment, okay, of living together or, or being in the same place at the same time or making the commitment to begin this process. And I'm also seeing you being concerned with being overwhelmed, you know, or feeling like this person may be sabotaging the relationship because they don't want to, um, you know, make that commitment. So um, number three, it's all about your relationships. And it's talking about, you know, if you are not receiving what it is that you are giving in a romantic situation, you know, you can't force a person to give you what you want. All right. So you have to see things for they, for what they really, really are. And you have to accept that, you know, and you have to respect, you know, where that person is, even if they're not man or woman enough to tell you, Hey, look, I'm not ready to commit. They want to string you along, you know, and keep you around. You have to be careful about your own emotions and your own well being because other people won't. Okay. All right, guys. So that is the raw truth weekly for this week. I will see you again on Thursday for answers from the ancestors. You guys have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.